do you want to marry your brother? Is it legal to burn money? The internet wants to know on this week's episode of What the Law? Is it illegal to burn money? I see Mike buy a $5 coffee every morning. No, literally, like set money on fire. Why would anyone do that? Good question, because the answer is that it is in fact illegal to burn money. Title 18, section 333. It's a federal crime and you could be charged with fines and time in prison. Just give it to me instead. Don't hurt the money. Tell them to bring me my money. Yeah! Although it's incredibly rare for anyone to be tried and convicted of this. Hey, don't give them any ideas. I'm not. But if you have any legal questions about what's legal and what's not, leave a comment down below and you could be in the next video. Next question. Is it legal to dumpster dive? Who are these people? Apparently a lot of these people are curious. So unless there's a specific local regulation against it, there is no federal or state restrictions when it comes to dumpster diving. What? But I don't just throw away garbage. I throw away personal stuff like mail and love letters. According to the Supreme Court ruling in California versus Greenwood, when a person throws something out, that item is now public domain. Public domain? Not if Disney has anything to say about it. So you're saying it's perfectly fine to dumpster dive? As long as the trash can isn't on private property, locked, or has signs stating otherwise, then yes. You know the old saying, one man's trash is another man's pleasure. Disposable. Question, is it legal to marry your brother? Oh, these are the most Googled? Who are you people? Relax, this is like the seventh most Googled. It made the top 10? Ah! Short answer, no. It's not legal to marry your brother. In some states, it's legal to marry your cousin though. Oh, what states can you marry a puppet in? I'm so lonely. What's the next question? Question, is it legal to smoke with a minor in my car? Terrible. But legal. What? It's legal to smoke with a minor in the car, but not in these states. It's also illegal in the United States territories of Guam and Puerto Rico. Can we get a graph that shows where you can smoke in a kid's face and where you can marry your brother? I'm trying to see something. Also, this is referring to tobacco. It's completely illegal to drive when smoking marijuana. Was all this legal? Just don't smoke in a kid's face. Uh-oh, looks like it's time for Off the Record. Carson from Facebook asks, how do you stay in shape, Mike? My diet and exercise routine is all out of whack. Well, the first thing I do is I wake up in the morning and curl my legal textbooks. Then I have a high protein justice smoothie for breakfast. Then I do 20 laps around the courthouse. Uh, he goes to Planet Fitness. Moving on. Question, is it legal to sleep in my car? You got some big comment about this one? Mm, no, I'm uh, genuinely curious. All right then. Now, the act of sleeping in a car itself isn't a crime, but if you wanna make sure you can catch some Z's in your Grand Cherokee, it'll depend on these things. Are you intoxicated? Where and when you are parked? And individual local laws. So, let's say I've been out on the town. I've had a few, and I wanna sleep it off in my car. Can I? That might be a risky endeavor. Even though you aren't driving, you can still get a DUI for just being intoxicated, even if you were trying to sleep it off. This is to prevent you from turning the key and driving while still intoxicated. And most states operate this way. You still run a risk of getting a DUI depending on the state, but sleeping in the back seat and having your keys in the trunk could help you beat the charge. Please drink responsibly and don't even think about getting behind the wheel. That's right. Second, when and where are you parked? If you're parked somewhere you shouldn't be, it's not the sleeping that's a crime. Location, location, location. And as always, just make sure you check your local laws. Maybe your specific city or county has some sleep regulation. Snooze police. But generally speaking, as long as your car is in a safe place and you aren't intoxicated, sleeping in your car is perfectly legal. Well, I for one am shocked to hear that these are some of the most Googled questions, you heathens. Now Moppet Mike, innocent until proven guilty. I'm sure you wouldn't want anyone to judge you based on your search history. What? My search history? Uh, I've never even seen a computer in my life. Huh. Oh really? So you haven't liked this video and subscribed to the channel? No, I did. And so should you. And remember to check out our other long form series here. What questions do you have about the law? Ask in the comments below. Thanks for watching.